All right, guys, so real quick, the Bronco and GT500 giveaway is over, but the giveaway for the GT500 is still live right now, and right now to help you out, if you missed out on the duel, we're giving you a 1,000 free entries. That's right, 1,000 free entries for 1,000 wheel horsepower, a 1,000 free entries with every purchase to help you take this car home. 1,000 free entries with every purchase. You can see it right there, and the countdown timer says 20 days left, but that could be a lot less. I don't know when you're watching this versus when I'm filming it. It will be less than that though, for sure. We have brand new, I mean, we're adding stuff like on a daily basis. So if you, you know, make sure, even if you have something, make sure you check out the site again every once in a while because we're always adding new stuff, new Hurricanes Heroes merch, the new uh, Special Forces style logo. I really like that one. Our new Defund Politician shirt. That one's Bobby's. I love that one. Always adding new cool stuff for you. You will find something you love and it could help you take home that GT500 right there. Good morning guys, hope all of you are having a great day. Today is going to be off-road day in the Gen 3 Raptor, the 2022 37 package Raptor. I've done just about everything a man can do with a Ram TRX. I've jumped them, I've raced them, I've driven through a creek allegedly, I've lit them on fire. So I know a Ram can take the abuse. However, I don't know if a Raptor can, and we're about to find out. Are you excited? Are you really excited about the Raptor off-roading? Because I am, I know you are. I gotta go to work, Ernie. I have to make money for your food, but I'll be right back. Okay, but before we go, can we admire how badass this Raptor does look? The KC lights on the roof, the winch front bumper, the 37 inch mud grabs on the method wheels, and the two full size spares in the back. In the looks department, the Raptor is winning in my book. Only thing I'm a little bit worried about is this. I mean, it's okay, but it's, it's not a V8 yet, but there will be one soon. What do you think? Might be the dopest Gen 3 I've ever seen. TRX though, better, worse, like what are you thinking? I'm not like totally decided yet. We're going off-roading today. We're gonna find out, yeah. And this is, I'm assuming this is gonna be better than the TRX. So you think it'll be better? Yeah, dude. Man, I don't know why. I've always thought Raptors are better than TRXs. Really? Well, you never take yours out, so I can <laughs> <laughs> This fits 37's bone stock. I mean, the TRX does, but they rub a little bit. These don't rub. Oh my, I'm so jealous. Yeah, tonight, yeah, yeah. Actually. The 37 oh package. God. It's pretty badass. I'd stick 37's on my truck, it would just rip it apart. Right. This Bumper is bone truck. stock ride height. Jesus, dude. These things are sick. <laughs> I do love that front bumper as well. That's pretty awesome. Oh Got the God. winch in there. So if we get stuck, we're good. Got the winch. I'm not kind of nervous. I thought you were bringing like a stock Raptor. I don't oh know no. Oh, oh, we don't do stock. Oh my God. The clearance on these is pretty crazy. That's factory. So you could, you might even be able to go a little bigger on the tire. Oh, you got a winch. You can do every once I told you we have a winch. Do I got a winch. I have the recovery. I got the kinetic rope in the back, winch up front. Yes, sir. Got a V6 though. Don't like that. <laughs> the only thing I'm not pumped about. The outside's cool. The interior might be better. It's blue. Oh my God. It's blue. Yeah, full suede. Look at that. Not bad, right? I love how Ford has like the little trinkets. Yeah, there. little American the flag. Little, little seat Got the carbon fiber here. It's, I, I will say, very, very nice. Yeah, this is- uh, I'm super this is impressed. Like, is this the one that has the safe? safe yeah, safe. so it's got the thing. If you press the button, well, my phone's in there, but you can fold that stupid handle down and then fold it forward. And then how do you fold this? No, forward? you press the button right, right in front of park. Bobby, this one. Yeah, yeah. Hit that button. There you go. Dude, I'm not used to these luxurious <laughs> things. So yeah, you hit that. Now you fold it forward. I so take that. Forward. Yeah, fold that forward. Oh wow. Now you got a table, picnic you could table. Do some serious work here. You could do some work. Nobody will ever use yeah. that for work, but you could do it. Here's the kicker. Now I'm thinking, all right, like I get my McDonald's. I'm driving down the road. I got a table. You can't <laughs> fold that down when you drive. So you can only use the table when it's parked. So what, this, the, the computer knows like lock this? Uh, no, it, it doesn't let you fold that, that's yeah. Stupid. It's a goblin. Goblin mode. Ford's looking out, man. They know that a lot of people are really stupid, especially Ford owners. I don't know, still not like super pumped about this, but I'm learning. All right.
absolutely got pooped on. Well, congratulations. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. Congratulations. Yes, sir. I think sir. it's the yep. first race I've won. Yeah. Well, you know what? First time for everything, and the Raptor is slow. There you go. It's gonna suck today on the trails too. You just wait. Sport off. Okay, off road. Got it. Where is like the mode select button? Drive mode. Here we go. Normal. Deep snow. Baja. What is this? Oh, give me a break. You're putting in all these off road modes. Off road use. Shift to four or low. Okay. Dude, the camera is pretty sweet in here. Big camera, look at that. What's this button do? Trail active. Stop pressing buttons. Stop, don't you open my tailgate. I'm ready, go. Nice for you actually take care of your camera. Get in your on. truck and go. Yeah. Look at that, that's cool. Oh wow. Okay, trailer, rear. Is it your hitch camera? Yeah. You have a hitch camera. Got a bed cam. Dude, <laughs> cameras for days, man. Oh, so, oh, 360. There you go. All right, we're good. I think, I think we're ready. I'm ready. Here we go, boys. Gen 3 Raptor on the trail. Small test. Will it climb that? It'll climb that. Yeah, you want to get out? <laughs> Tell me if my back end's about to smack the ground. I'm gonna smack it. I think it'll go right up. Uh, yeah, it's looking good. Keep going. Yeah, you're good. You're picking up. Here, let me get up here. Let me get up here. Come up this way a little bit. Oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, but you're off now, I mean. The damage is done. I broke my Raptor. 20 minutes in, I broke my Raptor. Uh, I guess the force of the water knocked off the front thing, but I think it'll pop back in. It looks like it's fine. Just popped out. You hit so. it hard, dude. Back here, look at you hit the water hard. No, it was like 10 miles an hour. Well, I'm trying to give you credit for why your truck's falling apart. How deep is it? It's deep. Super safe. Yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere for sure. Gotta believe. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah. Hold on, let me get a picture on here. Yes. Holy crap, guys, holy crap. Um, I was worried for a second, like I wasn't gone anywhere for a little while and then the Raptor found traction and dug itself out. That is unbelievable. Looks so freaking cool, covered in mud. You like my new wrap? I think it's pretty sweet. It's a very realistic, like textured wrap. The Raptor was, how deep was that? Dude, you were up above your <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that was so freaking fun. Man, she does just keep paddling though. Those big mud grapplers really doing their work in the mud. Like that's pretty, pretty badass. I think that's a good test. That thing was deep in really like thick mud and it did a very good job getting out. You got a big rock right here. 
Yeah. Because I don't want to slide, but how, how big is the rock? I think you can get up over it. Okay. Come up slow. Bobby, get up here. Huh? You're good. It's not, it's still like here. All right, you're about to hit it with this wheel. We got some, we got some room on the side. Yeah, you're not getting over that one. Oh yeah, dude, you got you got to turn like yeah. So turn like hard left. Yeah, yeah. Hard, hard left. No, no, no. Go forward. Turn hard left. Go forward a little bit. I just want to get you around that rock. And then, and then we'll have you straighten out again. I know. I just gotta get you the right angle. You coming forward? All right, you should be getting there. Just, just slowly straight out. All right, now now you can evade. Yeah. Just watch your side. Yep, go, 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 go. trucks have we done with this we've done this same trail we've done this trail with a lot of trucks and never had a break wow dang that's really it that's really it raptors done not good not good i was having a great day you know maybe maybe i should wait okay so the raptor um I, number one i am home after a very very long day and i'll start with this, you know, it was a big leap for me. It might sound dramatic, but it was a big leap for me to go from a Ram, which I know I love, I've loved them over the past two years, uh, to a new vehicle, to a Ford. But I was like, you know what, let's have fun with it. And I was, I was really enjoying myself. The Raptor was doing great. No indication whatsoever that it was going to have a massive, massive failure. It handled the mud pit really well. And again, everything was going fantastic. But uh, going up that small trail, we had a break and a bad break. Not like, oh, I curbed a wheel on a rock or something. Like, I can tell you this, the Raptor did not get out under its own power and couldn't because it was undrivable, could not drive it at all. So the recovery was pretty interesting, getting it out of that gully back on a trail. Like it was a long, <laughs> really long day. That upload, I filmed it all. That upload will be coming very soon. Uh, but yeah, uh, we had a bad break. And you know, you could say like, maybe I'm an awful off-road driver, I don't know. But all I do know is I've taken a lot of trucks on that same trail and doing that same stuff. And I've never had a mechanical failure. In fact, rarely have I ever had any damage at all, you know, mechanical or otherwise. Now, yes, when I jumped the TRX, I had some body damage, but even that truck mechanically didn't fail, didn't have any issues. So it's pretty rare actually on my, for all the off-roading and stuff that I do, mechanical failures are actually pretty rare. And this was a big one, a really big one with a brand new truck, a hundred thousand dollar truck. And you're going to see all the footage, but I mean, I can honestly say without trying to be biased because I mean, sure, I don't want to admit like I was doing something wrong, but I really genuinely don't think I was doing anything wrong. And it was a pretty easy trail that we've taken a lot of vehicles on and the Raptor failed horribly, like really, really bad. I can't wait, for, I can't wait for you to see it, but it was not good. So maybe, I, you know, maybe I made a big mistake going from Ram to Ford, I don't know. Or maybe I got a bad one, but you're, you're gonna see what happened and be like, wow. And all I could think about was like, imagine if that happened in Colorado when I was up on a cliff, I could have died. Like for, and it sounds again, dramatic, but like I could have actually died. If, I, if this happened on that trail in Colorado and maybe I got faulty parts, because again, you're gonna see all the footage and you can make your own decision, 
but I think my truck was built wrong or I got a faulty part, I don't know. But if that happened at the wrong time, could have, could have literally died, not doing anything. You know, it's not like I was jumping over stuff or uh, even though the Raptor is kind of built for jumping too, but I wasn't doing anything out of the ordinary. I was on a really basic trail and I had a really, really bad failure. It was wild. So I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give this upload a big thumbs up. Take care, have a great night. I'll see you in the next one.